All right, I guess we should start. So, I am Ilmari Lauhakangas. I work for the Document Foundation doing development marketing. This talk is an update on the topic of my presentation in Almeria last year. It turns out that we are increasing our use of volunteer platforms for recruiting LibreOffice volunteers quite dramatically. I want to thank Zdeněk Střehanek, Marcin Popko and Mike Saunders for their contributions to this presentation. At the time of the last talk, I had started doing interviews with volunteer match contacts. In hindsight, review, uh, interviews seem like an obvious routine. However, even the interviews were not a guarantee in making people actually start with the contributions. I was not happy with the continuously poor results. In June this year, I realized I would need to start doing follow-up discussions. I scheduled them already during the interviews. And to my delight, this had a very real impact. Anticipating the second discussion, most volunteers started working on stuff. Even if they failed to start, they would have to explain to me what the problem was. This made it much more clear if the person was capable of contributing or not. <laughs> so, some observations uh, along the way. Quality assurance continues to be the most popular genre of our volunteer match task selection, which is kind of nice because that's the area that, that I have the most experience in. Uh, during the quality assurance interviews, I have started to give quick demonstrations of bug triaging. And this is done by simply explaining what I do in the text chat. Along with the follow-up discussions, this is another method to ensure the volunteers understand the whole process. Uh, the experience with volunteer platforms is now affecting our onboarding practices as a whole. Everyone is now recommended to schedule an interview, even if they do not arrive through a volunteer platform. Uh, Christine Louis was introduced to us by a volunteer match contact. She star started doing experience research for our website renovation project. She also brought along her friend Lisa Lin. Christine and Lisa had a presentation yesterday at this conference. Our experience working with them has been very encouraging and inspiring. And now to uh, display some various other platforms. Idealist.org is another global volunteer platform. I started using it in late 2019. It has brought some contacts, but not nearly as many as volunteer match. Um, the Polish community is using the to-do platform. Two volunteers are currently translating the Getting Started guide into Polish. One volunteer finished the translation of the Polish LibreOffice website. Uh, Mike Saunders recently registered LibreOffice on the German platform Wostel.de. Together with uh, translator Tuomas Hietala, I created tasks on a new Finnish volunteer platform called HIOP in March this year. We did not receive any contacts through it. Then, in September, it was relaunched and rebranded as Vapaaehtoistyö.fi. It is now a collaboration between Citizen Arena Association and Church Services. Hopefully it will now attract more users. Uh, actually, I already received one tentative contact. Uh, Zydeniak Cirhonek has been very active on Czech volunteer platforms. A year ago he was just starting with Umsem Umtam. Uh, the way it works is by defining challenges for volunteers. They should be small ones, roughly taking 10 hours, but there is no limit on the number of challenges. For example, 
Zdeněk has divided guidebooks by chapter and then sought a volunteer for each one. Uh, Zapo Jimse is about company volunteering. Some companies have a benefit where they give their employees one or two days per year for volunteer activities. They pay the salary and expenses while the employee works as a volunteer. These companies use Chapo Jimse as a bridge, mm -hmm. so they do not have to worry about finding volunteer organizations, arranging communications, etc. Companies simply publish Chapo Jimse's offer on their internet. Zydeniek registered LibreOffice as an NGO and offered some tasks for volunteers. Hero Clan has the same idea as Umsem Umtam, but you can only have one, tasks, one task at a time. They do not display a public catalog of tasks, but instead work by directly contacting volunteers. You write an advertisement to them and they find and put you in contact with the volunteer. Unfortunately, you can only have one volunteer at a time. I interviewed Zydeniek about his experiences. So what he does is he includes a maximum amount of information in the task descriptions. He tries to onboard volunteers as soon as possible. He encourages them to do something simple, like translating a single sentence. And he has been communicating via email, but is considering other mediums. So far, the volunteers have only tackled translations. Without their help, it would not have been possible to complete ambitious tasks like translating frequently asked questions and other articles in the wiki, as well as whole guidebooks for Calc, LibreOffice Online, Math and getting started. Umsem Umtam is the best platform in terms of success so far. About 30 tasks have been completed, and there are about four recurring volunteers, which is highly significant. Hero Clan volunteers have completed five tasks. Zapo Jimse has yielded three completed tasks. So, yeah, thanks for attending, and uh, I really encourage everyone to investigate any local platforms that are active in their country because you might be surprised to find some uh, avenues there so any questions Hello. about the topic uh, so yeah one question uh, any tip on how to start uh, looking for this kind of uh, platforms or like yeah yeah for, for doing web searches well, yeah. I guess just uh, search for volunteer work in your native language and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> Obviously now uh, the, the Finnish platform is uh, very easy to find because it is literally volunteerwork.fi, the URL. So <laughs> I think it was quite obscure, the, the previous one. So no no other questions. Okay, well, thanks, and uh, we can have a little break. Thank you very much. <laughs>